Today I'm going to do a review on Fitville, the trainers that everybody's been trying. But ours has got a bit of a twist. We've got a bit of a warning for you, so keep watching. So we're not a big enough channel to get sent freebies like this. So I have purchased these off of my own back. So it's not sponsored by Fitville. And um, I'll show you how they arrive. So they come with some lovely wrapping and they come in an individual foot bag. And I went for um, these pink ones. I quite liked the idea that they've got a Velcro strap um, so you don't have to keep fiddling around with laces. You can just quickly put your foot in and strap it over. So you're saying you, you sometimes you put your foot in it? <laughs> quite often. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> the other thing um, that, I re that, that drew me to actually ordering a pair was the fact that um, they do wider fitting, which I usually um, use. And also they have trainers specifically that are made to help with people that have different um, medical issues. Um, two of them I have or I've had. One was plantar fasciitis, um, which if you've ever had it, you will know it's the most painful thing in the world. And also I have diabetes. So I thought along with them being a wider fit in and good for people with those two complaints, I thought I'd try them. So there we have it. Um, the sole is nice and spongy and cushiony. Um, I'm not sure if it's um, memory foam, but it's very comfortable. Now, normally I range from a size eight to a size nine. Um, here in the UK, we don't often get size eight and a half. However, I noticed on the Fitville web website that they do do an eight and a half. So I ordered these trainers in a size eight and a half. Unfortunately, they're just a tiny bit too um, tight for me. So I wanted to return them. And this is where the problem starts. They don't tell you that actually you can't really return your shoes. You can, but you're gonna lose out a bit of money. I sent an email asking, how do I return my trainers? So here's the message, here's the email I got back. I mean, they did reply really quickly. It says, hi, Karen, thank you for your message to Fitville. Are they still brand new? Currently, we don't have a local warehouse in the UK. As shipping and handling to Germany would be very costly, would you consider a refund of £20? Now, I originally paid £37.23 for these trainers. Um, so, instantly you're losing £17. 17. £17. Pounds. Um, they did offer an alternative. Or if you want to send these back to the German warehouse, please make sure the shoes are still clean and resellable and package them to the following address. Now, um, obviously you had to pay package and postage yourself. Uh, I was a little bit worried about doing that because even though we're tracking, what if they go missing? So I went back and said, um, I didn't want a refund per se, they do go up to a size nine and I would be, I would like to, I would be happy if they sent me a pair of size nines. Now I have to admit to being a bit naughty here. And I did say that a couple of our fellow YouTubers had done reviews and that we were intending doing the same and the hope that they'd send me a pair of size nine trainers. Um, so end of all that, yes, they did send me a new pair of trainers. Um, so I have a pair of size eight and a halfs here which are of absolute no use to me so if anyone would be interested in a pair of size eight and a half snug fitting just to make you aware then please leave a message in the comments below if there's several of you that say you would like them then i'll um pull, pull names out of a hat the only thing i would ask is um if they don't fit you please pass them on for free to somebody else please don't sell them on to anybody else um so I've reviewed the size nines. I've worn them um, for a few weeks now. We went away for nine days recently in the motorhome 
and they were my daily footwear, walking, cycling, um, very comfortable and I would buy them again. Obviously now I know a size nine fits, but um, yeah, just beware if you're ordering. Um, I would say if you're normally a size eight, I would definitely go for the size eight and a half. If you're normally an eight and a half, nine, then definitely go for the size nine. But um, yeah, other than that, that, you know, that's the only downfall is, is they're really not easy to return. Um, but as a trainer themselves, thumbs up. Would you buy another pair down the line? Yes, I would. I, in fact, I have looked online. <laughs> I won't buy pink ones again, though, because they've got dirty too quick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it never rains at the nurseries. It just gets really muddy. Yeah, I did wear them at the nurseries and they did. <laughs> probably that was <laughs> probably got most dirty going down the mud track to um, Neil's uh, wildlife camp to mess around. So it's just seriously right by. Yeah, I got quite muddy. <laughs> Although Dan did warn me it was muddy down there. 